this is Faye Diamond in the Rough. Today's date, Monday 5th of August, um, day one of my vlog. Um, thought I'd tackle things slightly differently. Sorry. Tackling things slightly differently. Uh, I want to go through some of the um, video um, comments on YouTube. So I thought, or I might do, hang on a sec. Oh, sorry about that. Um, got the laundry door shut so that Bo doesn't come inside. So I got up and let him in and then he started running around the place and making a lot of noise on the floor. So he went, oh well, I'll kick him back outside. The sun is shining and there's no rain. He'll be fine. He used to spend a lot of time outdoors before we got into the door. So yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I think it was that I want to tackle these vlogs differently. Um, do the whipping chats and stitching chats to talk about stuff. Um, probably on my last day of the vlog, I might get a bit more talk about a bit more. Um, but I thought I might tackle this vlog slightly differently because I'm getting, at the moment, I'm getting quite a few comments on YouTube, which is um, fantastic. And um, I've put comments, responded to a lot of the comments, um, but I thought I might as well do it here and it makes it personal. So, But yet again, if you see a, a heart, you do get a heart from me if I've read it. But I thought I'd go through some of the comments that I have received since my last vlog, which was only two days ago. All right, so um, so I'll actually go from the the vlog itself. Um, where I think the best thing to start from the vlog itself so we can see how we're going there. So um, a diamond pan and dreamer turned around and like, went LOA. They sent every creator DP to review they could find. Personally like them. I'm using one I got as a giveaway. So um, in that I, I did respond back saying, you know, the great thing about Victoria's Moon, yes, we're seeing a lot of unboxed since of Victoria's Moon, but it is a variety. Um, we're not getting the same same thing unboxed by the same creators. So we're actually seeing other creators and seeing their opinions, um, which is, you know, we get as a community, and it's the community, the wider community, that's actually getting, possibly getting a, a say on what they see instead of just a, a few targeted YouTubers. Um, and in all of that, we discovered that Crafting with Christy didn't receive one. So, Christy, um, I haven't sent the email off yet. I will be doing that um, as soon as I finish recording this so that I'll send an email off and say, hey, there's a creator there that would like to have one. Is there any chance that she could do it? So um, I did recommend a few creators um, for a, a picture to get a, a diamond painting to review. Um, and I've actually got a couple more I'd like to review. Uh, I didn't review, I didn't send, I sent a couple out initially because I started seeing a lot of creators um, receive diamond paintings and it was like, oh, well, possibly the ones that I've seen will have already received these. But they seem to have stopped um, being people receiving because we all received them around about the same time. So I think for the ones that I haven't seen, the creators that I follow that I haven't seen, I might send an email out and go, here's a couple more that you, know, you might want to um, contact. So, yeah, so that was on that one. Dearly crafted. Where have you been? You disappeared again for a little while. Mine, I haven't been in many lives. Um, so, yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, nails. Yet again, I think I've already mentioned it. My son doesn't like them because of the drills. Oh, not the drills. Ha! <laughs> the rhinestones on there, um, because he just feels like there's always something sticky on top of your nails. He, he just doesn't like the look of it. So, um, 
who knows? Uh, we'll say, dearly, I wonder if we'll meet your mum if she's okay with it. We'll see. She's, I think she's here at the end of this week. Um, and in saying that, my mum did actually send me an email um, to about um, my vlog. She watched my last, well, she's watched one of my vlogs. She actually likes my blogs, vlogs, but she says, you say um a lot. Uh, yeah, fully aware I do, Mum. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Sada of it comes from, um, I think I've started saying I'm um, a lot more because of work. Um, as soon as, on the, on the radio, as soon as you actually stop talking and even though you're supposed to say over and out before anyone calls back, you get some don't. So just being able to go, uh, and then continuing on the, the authority uh, stops people from getting in the radio. So I think if I do more practice at work of not saying it on the radio, maybe I'll stop doing it <coughs> in my personal life. Um, and dearly, because dearly and I are on such different time zones, some of the times that I've done lies, she hasn't been able to go to. So um, I told her I'd send her an email to let her know that... Um, <laughs> when I'm the day that I'm thinking about doing a live, so just give her a heads up on that. Um, because in the DP a thon that we did, she did actually set her alarm so that she could come and join our live, which you know, which is absolutely fantastic. Dearly, you are a wonderful, wonderful person. And Anna Dion turns around and she said, Still love the Elsa. Uh, so, yeah, I, I do. Elsa, I do really like. She is stunning. Um, then the next video that, not the next video that I received, but the next one that I'm going to talk about is the actual Vic Whip and Chat Victoria's Moon. And you guys will see a kind of how is that. Um, I've completely lost that. Anyway, I've completely lost my train of thought there. Anyway, um, Debbie's turned around and says she'll keep your name. I think that was where I was talking about um, making a Facebook group, which I have done um, and named it Diamonds in the Rough. Um, because it's not just about me, it's about everyone that joins. We are all diamonds in the rough. So, yeah, if I put that comment up there, I've highlighted it. Um, but then, yet again, I'm only going to share on other Facebook groups using my personal name. Um, yeah. Uh, unless, of course, I contact other groups and say, do you mind if I use this name? And we'll see how we go. Uh, I know that when I get on lives, there is some confusion that takes before, you know, I'll post something on a Facebook picture that, of what I'm working on on a Facebook group and then say I've posted something on YouTube and they're two different names. So um, sometimes a little bit of a confusion there. So I think if I'm live, who knows? But, yeah, so <clears throat> I have set it up and worked out how to do it and... I didn't need my son to help me. I worked it out all by myself. Proud of myself. Um, Cindy B, yeah, she loves watching the longer whip and chats while she's done paints. Um, during lives, have to dis make a decision about whether I'm going to chat or done paint. Agree with you there. Um, I actually, when I'm doing time lapse recordings, I have the, my wireless keyboard on top of my diamond paint so that then I can chat and. Um, <laughs> Sorry, by what's in, <clears throat> so that I can chat and actually, um, that's the best way to put it. So I can chat and listen um, while I'm doing um, my time lapses. But yeah, that's when I use my, my keyboard and, and chat away on lies. Um, Anna Dion, can't wait to see the videos, customers she's get, I'm giving away. Yes, they get getting shown publicly, just waiting for them to arrive. And Tracy Boswell, 
she's the same. She loves a long whipping chat or a diamond pen. So she doesn't have to keep stopping to find something to listen to. Um, that's where, that's why I'm going to go back to the whipping chats um, because I find them a lot more engaging and I can natter along while I'm doing stuff. Mind what I'm recording whipping chats, I'm not watching anybody's um, YouTubes. But that's okay. Um, I did actually get some on a couple of others of my older clips <laughs> by once in. Um, crafting with Beautiful Chaos is actually, um, um, I'm not sure whether she's only just found my channel. Um, and yet again, on the kidding up to flat paint while flying. So when I kitted up my two diamond paintings that I could work on the plane, um, one thing she said, I obviously, that, I think that was the one where I turned around and went, I've just pulled myself away from all the, the drama a lot of the drama YouTubers and um, Facebook groups just so that I wasn't getting, um, you know, up tight about it. Bo, settle down. I'll let you in shortly. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll tell you what, since I did that, there is somewhere I've gone, I wish I hadn't left that Facebook group, but I left the group for a reason. Um, yes, I should have stayed in one, but... For everything that happened in watching those, um, yeah, I'm really, yeah, I'm enjoying back doing stuff, which is why I suppose I created my own Facebook group. So, yeah. And um, another one that was commented on, <coughs> excuse me, was, yeah, again from Crafting from Beautiful Chaos, um, and that was about the Lion family unboxing so that was the one where I used the hair dryer to smooth that one out so you know towards the end you see me working with the hair dryer I have since used the hair dryer on another diamond painting um, that really didn't need it but it was more of the size of it was great to be able to show it and manage it so that's it for the comments that I have received um, which you know that I Hopefully this is a great way to talk to some of the, some of you guys if you actually watch my vlogs. And I do know some of you do watch my vlogs because the comments are on my vlog. So, yeah. So, um, I suppose 12 minutes is long enough for uh, this little section. Um, so, being Monday, uh, Wednesday uh, is... So, I've got two night shifts, Monday, Tuesday night shift. And then Wednesday is... Um, the start of five days off. So I'll uh, be doing some whipping chats then and um, I'll see you shortly when I do my next vlog, next part of this vlog. Today's date is Tuesday 13th of August and where am I shift wise? Um, Tuesday I've just finished uh, my second day shift so I'm on to night shift. Wednesday, Thursday, and my last recording in this vlog was actually, I think it was Monday last week. <laughs> so we're a bit, um, yep, 5th of August. So it's been uh, just over a week since I did a recording. Had a few things happening. Um, we now have data cables running right through the house, so... Instead of everything running wireless network, we are now cabled, so um, speed will be much quicker. So that's that side of it. So, but yeah, we've been busy running cables through the roof, up and down walls, and trying to get it all sorted. So we finally got it sorted. And um, I've had some more, obviously, more comments on on uh, different ones that I've completed. And what can I say, Kathy? Where have you been? No, she's been on Kathy Bradley comments on just about every one of my um, comments, and just I think she comments on every one of my videos, which you know, some of you guys do, which I really do love. And um, 
yeah, it was quite interesting because it's like, you know, I wondered where she was. And so now she was actually away. So good to see you back, Kathy. Um, but um, so we've had Kathy yakking and um, messaging me there on that um, just to catch up on the vlog. We also had um, just a little word from the Diamond Painting Dreamer. Um, just some few things happened there. And I do believe Crafting with Christy did end up getting contacted. So, yay, hopefully all good there. And um, we'll see an unboxing there soon. Uh, my whip and chat that I did, my live whip and chat, we had a couple of people that obviously were in the, in the live. Um, but what we did have is some people left some messages afterwards and Debbie Keller, <coughs> so she's watched, uh, she put there, I watched Are You Aware You Have Really Bad Sound Issues on the video and then she puts another comment up, goes, it did get, did get better towards the end. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with my sound. I'm trying to fix it. I think I get it and then next thing I know I don't have it and it's bugging me. And that's probably annoying the hell out of you guys. So, and for that, I do. I am really sorry that my sound, the issues that I have with my sound, is horrible. So Debbie and Kathy both commented on the uh, lovely quality of sound. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna leave that one. And I'll just Kathy put another comment about the steampunk. Now, Kathy has ordered something um, from Gemmet in Perth or Mandurah and uh, she's working on the Blue Dragon Princess and she reckons she'll finish it up on the weekend um, and she's going to actually order from them again so that's Gemmet and um, that's the steampunk lady she was gorgeous and I enjoyed working on her it sounds like somebody else has which is good Kathy um, then there was just a little bit of comment on um, Elsa um, and you might notice that I've actually upgraded, changed my picture. I'm using Elsa as my picture now. I thought that was quite nice. So, yeah. Um, so there's quite a few different comments on there. And thank you, everybody, for those. And um, <laughs> Cindy B, get yourself some translucent face powder. Uh, it works wonders for a lot of things. But um, I will say this. Um, DIY Moon, they are expensive, but I'll tell you what, the quality is good. I placed an order with them on Wednesday. They shipped it Friday. It arrived in Perth on Monday, and I've actually asked the uh, the delivery company, um, now they let you know that it's coming. It was going to be delivered Monday. I've actually asked them to hold it and to deliver it to me tomorrow, Wednesday, which is when I'm home. Um, I like to be home when packages are delivered. So, um, yeah, that's something that is coming up soon. Okay, and then the other one, the last one that I'm going to have, there's quite a few comments on, which is um, the Lioness and Cub uh, number eight. That's where I actually took, I actually stood back with my camera and recorded and you could see what my desk looks like. And it is organised chaos. That's the best way to put it, organised chaos. Um, as I put a colour out, I know where I'm putting it. So each time I'm going back to that colour, um, it's just somehow, I don't know how, I managed to get it to work. Um, I'm able to look at a symbol and go, okay, well, I know I've been getting it from here. Um, I can look at a symbol and go, I know it's not out on my desk anyway, I'm going to have to get it out from the pile. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I managed to do it. And the other comments, the amount of comments on people about the cat. So you guys finally saw Boots properly and where he just sits there and meows and meows and meows. Um, but I'm, Boots was an outdoor cat most of his life. Um, so therefore he didn't have the luxury of living inside. 
Um, but when he did come inside, he was not allowed on the furniture. So um, he, we've got, we've got one couch in the house that he is allowed to sit on. He's not allowed to sit on any of the other couches. And even if my mum picks Boots up and puts him in her lap, she's not allowed to have him on her lap on other couches. Um, and, and that's just, he knows where he's allowed to go. He has his own bed or this. But I think I've seen him, he sits on the kitchen tap chairs, our, our dining room chairs, and he has this one couch and then he's got cushions around the house that he's allowed to sit on. Um, I don't believe that he would ever jump up on a desk um, but when I have those trays out, I don't walk away from it. So the trays go out, I do my, you know, I start my filming, the trays go out, and then I pack up and that's the only time they're out, I'm actually at my desk. And the only time Boots wants attention is when he wants food. So it's a win-win situation, you know, where each of us stands. Um... So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, very, um, I suppose not busy, just had a lot to do and not much in the way of craft-wise. Still ploughing through the Victoria's Moon and so I was working on the Victoria's Moon and then I've just had to get into doing more of my lioness and cub and I got into lioness and cub and then when I put that one away from doing those two pages, I went back to do this Victoria's Moon and I flew, started flying through fast because I had a break. So this is why I like to change paintings and change crafts around because you can do one thing, um, you work on one thing and you slow down, whereas if you go work on another thing and you go back to it, I, I do complete them. It's not a case that I don't complete. I do complete. I go backwards and forwards, which keeps the um, momentum going. So it is something, if you guys find that, um, I think that's one thing I discovered when I was diamond painting early on with the big ones is I was working on a big one that um, I lost heart in. And so I put it away and I struggled to go back to it, but I put it away and I went to another one. And then um, I think on my second diamond painting after that, I went back to it and discovered that I was back to enjoying it. So that was where I learned to be able to shuffle um, and change between. I mean, the liners and cub, you know, the browns, the greens and the greys, the Victoria's moon, the pinks, the purples, the blues. Um, my big two metre waterfall, and that's got a range of greens and whites and yellows. So it's a rotation of using different colours and also between squares and rounds. I've got Victoria's Moon Square, my blank custom, my nurse and cub, is square. I've got the waterfall is around and then I've got Girl by Carousel which I haven't started yet and that's around. So um, yeah I, I'm enjoying rotating but yeah right now I've got Victoria's Moon right here on my desk. However uh, my delivery tomorrow um, means that I will actually unbox that on Thursday if Nathan is at work and I will find out tonight whether Nathan's going to be at work Thursday morning or not and if he's going to be at work Thursday morning I will schedule a um, I'll do a live unboxing maybe mm. no I think I might just unbox it I don't know I'll I'll see how I feel when the box arrives. How's that? Um, but, yeah, really, really, really excited to actually 
Oh no, I'll unbox it if on camera, but I won't do it live. There we go. Answer my own question. I talk to myself a lot and it gets some good answers too. Um, so yeah, I will see you with the uh, next section of my vlog uh, very, very shortly. Okay, um, I think there's only three recordings or four recordings for this vlog um, for the fortnight. Um, it's been a bit busy. We've had, um, well, I mean, the last break I had off, we were in the ceiling and in the walls and lifting tin roof up to um, have the howl house darted. Um, so we now have cabling right through that the house. Um, the benefits of <laughs> owning your own home. I mean, we we built the house. Um, but there was stuff we went, no, we won't worry about doing, we'll put it in later. And last block off was later, because we, both, neither Nathan nor I were working last block. So it's been a case of get this done. So now all of our computers are hardwired to the network, so we get really quick internet. And um, our TVs are now plugged in to the hard drive, so we can anything we have stored on the hard drive, any movies or anything like that, um, we can now play through our TVs that are compatible with that. So, um, gosh, we've got so much more to go on. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to grab some of the things that I, what I have completed. Uh, this fortnight well not completed what I've done um, and so I will show you that and then what I will do is um, have a bit of a chat uh, about a few other things that are happening and um, yeah we'll go from there back in a sec Okay, so what have I achieved so far? I suppose Hang on. best one to show first is <laughs> my blank custom. Stand back here. Maybe this way. <laughs> okay, so got another two pages completed, which is about from about. Uh, I think here, maybe a little bit more from there across, and you can actually start to see the lionesses. You well, you can see all of her here. Um, so I got that done. My my mum was here as well, so that slowed me down on doing stuff. But yeah, so that's what I've done there. Um, for those that are interested, sorry, I've got an eyelash in my eye. For those that are interested. Um, this is, I did a calculation at four hours a um, page. So it's going to take two, more than 250 hours to do. <laughs> yeah. Going to keep me busy still. It's going to take a while. Um, you've seen me unboxing uh, the DIY moon bead boards. So that's going to hopefully make a difference. Okay, so that's that one. Victoria's Moon. I actually have... That's still in my eye. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to rinse that for a sec. So Victoria's Moon. I did record a... I did record a... A semi-review on this. However... This sound was so atrocious that it was like, no, I've, I've been struggling with sound, so I think you're all aware of that. Oh, about another 15 to 20 centimetres to go on the bottom, but she's looking good. Oh, yeah. And as you can tell, I'm holding up, normally I do this flat on the, my desk, but because of my computer, I just can't do it. Um, because of the sound issues, it's with somewhere and I can't fix it. Anyway, so 
from there I have um, done <laughs> I don't know where the other one is up two more that way moon boxes hang on a sec okay have you ever put something down and gone to find it and you just can't find it um, I couldn't find it it took me a good 10 minutes to find the other moon box okay so I got the two moon boxes from DIY moon so they are completed um, I did get a couple of beadboards the matching beadboards from DIY Moon which I've done the unboxing for sorry you've got the horse's ass here <laughs> the other one is actually in use um, which I've got for the Victoria's Moon just so you can see it here and so yeah that's all good to go I've started work back on Victoria's Moon um, and I, where'd the Y go? Y disappeared. Okay. And then I have, so the time lapse for the, camera's looking that way. Where is it? I'm just trying to work. I've got three cameras and i'm trying to figure out the sound which i know that these are the only ones that work this camera is the only one that's got good sound so h a p p and the y because we all know diamond painting makes us happy anyway i like that i thought they were cute and um it was more i wanted the box <laughs> Um, the original, the electric moon box that I first got is actually at work now, which I'm using it as a pen holder, which is doing really well. Um, I'm using these ones, the bigger ones, as pen holders as well, when they're working well. Well, not pen holders, but diamond painting tools. Okay, so that's done there. Now, I have just done some videos, and there's been some comments about my little vacuum cleaner. Just pulling that out in amongst everything else. So my little vacuum cleaner actually has three different attachments for okay, collecting things. And this is the best attachment that I've got. This is well, this is my preferred attachment. It I got it at a variety store. It plugs into a power pack so you can well it plugs in the computer to use just like our some of us with our light boards but it plugs into a power back pack which means it's fully portable and it does open and you just pour your drills back out when you've picked them all up because you've been a klutz like me um but yeah i only paid about ten dollars for it and i thought it was cute when i saw it um I came across it by accident in the store um, just after I'd seen people with the ladybugs and that that they use that they run flat over this one actually gets a more precise uh, location to hit okay what else has happened in uh, my world which is because I've just shown what I've done so did obviously as you can tell I did some more ordering from DIY Moonshop but what I did receive is the three blank well it's not shouldn't say blank customs the three customs that are going to be sent out to my winners um, so I did a giveaway offer back in May before I hit the 500 subscriber mark um, I didn't know when I was going to hit the 500. It took quite a while to reach the 500. <laughs> I'd never promoted my channel. So, um, so yeah, it took a while to get the 500 mark. I reached it while I was over in Cairns. 
I was looking at going with an ever moment because I wanted to be able to trust the quantity and quality um, and getting it to you, the guys that want, the other people that want. So the, the video when, I, when it comes out, I actually do say that what how I did it was actually in one of my vlogs. I actually said that I was running a competition for once I reached 500, I was going to go do a draw for um, anyone that followed the steps that I wanted. And one of those was not to give any indication that there was a giveaway in the video because I, what I wanted was people that really did watch my videos, um, for those who watch fully, and it wasn't right at the very end either. So you actually had to watch the video to have actually seen it. Um, but I turned around and said, just don't make it, don't comment that there's a giveaway in this in this video and, and email me and my email details were actually in that. And I'm now starting to add, my email details are now in every one that I, uh, every video I upload. And I had three people do that, only, only three. So um, on that basis, I turned around and went, well, for them to actually watch it and do what I asked, um, I was wrapped. So all three ladies, so that is Cindy B, Kathy and Nan, um, they're all getting one each. They have selected their diamond paintings and they have arrived. And they're not diamond. They're not ever moments. Um, they arrived yesterday. The person I brought them from actually hand delivered them to me. So these didn't go through the mail to me. She is local. She is. Sorry, Viv. I don't know how far away your distance is, but I keep saying, "Oh, she's only about five, ten minutes down the road," and she is that close that I can actually say that. Um, so yes, yeah, she came around and dropped it off. Now, there's a couple of fantastic things about this. these diamond paintings. Is, they came in tubes. Now these diamond paintings are 40 by 50s. Okay. The tubes that they gave, that this has put them in, um, 68 centimeters long what that means is instead of getting a diamond painting that is squeezing into a tube that gets crushed on the ends they're going to well and truly fit in these tubes and they're pretty good protectors uh, these are actually from our local postal company that do these um, so who did I buy them from I actually brought them from Crafty Diamonds Australia she ships international so that's fantastic for you guys. Um, what else about it? it? They are customs on with poured glue and clear covers. So yet again, it's something that's only just starting to come out. And when I found out about it, I actually hadn't heard of anyone doing it, but now there's a few other companies offering it. But to have someone that is local and doing that um viv is viv gets into all the a lot of the channels that i go and watch and the lives i go in viv actually pops into them um you know she's on the same time zone as me so right now it's half past nine on saturday morning and on the screen behind me well that way <laughs> viv's behind where i'm looking on my computer screen um, Jennifer Roberts is actually, you know, so DP, DP Addiction Adventures with Jennifer. Her live is currently on right now. I'm not listening to her, but I can see the chat. So, um, and I did put a be right back. So anyway, um, but yeah, Viv does join into the chats and um, I will put the link to her page. Um, 
sorry, just something came out of that one. I will put the link to her page down below. And what I was chuckling about was, um, so Viv's come around, Nathan's at home, he's got Friday off, she came around Friday, and he's just gone, disappeared, because basically Viv and I started talking, and after she left, he turns around and he goes, you two are so loud. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it was really funny, just we were, basically, the, our, I think our voices were reverberating within the house. Um, I don't have any artwork up yet, so my bear, my walls are still bare. Um, but I know we've got to repaint these walls probably before I do artwork, so I don't want to put any of my diamond paintings up and then have to pull them down and redo the framing and redo the hanging and all of that. So um, I'll eventually get them up once we repaint. Um, so that's that side of it, but really wrapped with the quality of her stuff, so of Viv's stuff, so um, please have a look at the link. Um, she is going away on holiday, but we had some interesting chats um, about things that we see on YouTube, which is interesting. Um, it's always good seeing somebody else's perspective on you see something some way and you see uh, somebody sees it another way. Um, and there's channels that I watch that Viv doesn't watch and Viv's actually given me some channels to watch that I didn't know about. Um, so yeah, um, but in saying that, Viv obviously she gets into um, the channels, she gets into lives, she hears what people want, she's a diamond painter herself. So she knows what people want in their, she, she, yeah, she, she knows, she, she sees what people want in their diamond paintings. And so she's contact with her suppliers and she's very um, adamant with her suppliers with how they provide stuff to her and, uh, and all of that. So. Um, yeah, it was really funny. She came around and she handed me the tubes and I turned around and said to her, you know I'm not opening them here, they're going to be open in front of the camera. So I actually showed her my setup here. So she's, <laughs> she turned around and she said, oh, there's the ice maker. <laughs> so yeah, um, Viv, it was lovely to meet you. Um, after you left, Nathan turned around and said, did you guys stand up the whole time? I was like, yeah. Because you didn't offer a coffee. It was like, Oh shit, no, I should have. Sorry, Viv, I should have offered you coffee. Um, my apologies on that one. Um, okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. Sorry, just a notification came up. Um, what am I doing next? I suppose what I haven't done is I haven't done what I haven't been doing. I haven't done any paint by numbers. I haven't done any. I don't think I've done any beaded cross stitch for the fortnight. Um, I'm now going to get back onto the waterfall. I have been going so hard on trying to get these victorious moons done that I'm actually slowing down because I'm using the same colours and I'm slowing down. Um, what I did do, I stopped and I did work on my blank custom. And when I put that away and went back to the Victoria moon, I was like powering away again. So. You know, I've thrown myself out trying to get this done, um, this Victoria's Moon done, but discovered that it's actually, because it's so much the same colours, um, yeah, I'm just slowing down. So by getting in and doing something slightly different, bang, I'm back to it. Um, as you say, you know, people go and do snacks. Um, I don't have, well, actually, no, I did have snacks. I had box snacks and key ring snacks. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can tell by the beadboard, you know, how close all these colours are. <laughs> I'm balancing it carefully. You know, the purples and the blues. So, yeah, just being able to alternate between another. So, um, and plus the Victoria Moon is a square, so it's a lot slower. Um, what else? Oh! I'm going to be trialling out the little tiny stencil for um, round drills. 
Viv has actually kindly given that to me because I asked her if she had it in the store to sell and she doesn't have it but she said she had one that she doesn't use so she's uh, kindly uh, let me use hers which is really appreciated um, but yeah I think that's about it for the fortnight so yeah I've got to start rotating through um, my other diamond paintings just so that I keep interested Girl by Carousel is sitting there. Whoops, that's just reminded me of something else. Girl by Carousel, I've done a small corner for, but I want to trial this on, on that one, see how that goes. And the other thing that I remembered is, because I, my diamond paintings are, my, not all my diamond paintings, but a lot of my diamond paintings are in there. And one of those is Elsa. And, you know, I've worked on it online and all this kind of stuff and said some stuff that it's going to be a gift. Um, my son's girlfriend put it, put two and two together because she watches my channel to keep up. She, she knows what I'm doing. <laughs> what do I say, Mickey? Stalker. No, not really. <laughs> um, considering I'm the one that actually got to start, her started on diamond painting, so it's all good. Um, yeah, but she put two and two together and she's realised that Elsa is for her. Um, they were around last night and, you know, Dion's come into the room with me and she's like, oh, can I have a look at it? I oh, know it's my present now. <laughs> it's so funny. And I went, I suppose you can look at it now because um, it's not framed. So until it's framed, it's... It, you know, it is gorgeous but once it's framed it's really going to set it off um, so yeah I was like oh, okay so um, Mickey if you actually are watching this right now when you say when you see me post a video that says framing Elsa don't look at it <laughs> okay um, I'm going to leave it there I've got a few things I've got to do um I finished night shift yesterday morning um, and I finished it when I was absolutely tired. I can normally on my night shifts, normally on my break, I can get at least a half hour snooze on both on every night shift, um, just a, a, you know, a power nap. Um, but the last two night shifts I did, I didn't, I wasn't able to. Um, I had a lot. I, I had a, a bad day shift, and it was just playing on my mind. So, um, it's something that I haven't really shut down from properly, and it's still running in my head. I need to dye my paint, so I don't worry about it. But what happened was I came home from my last night shift, and normally I come home, I clean the floors, I strip the bed, everything's all cleaned up. And then I go to bed and sleep. But Nathan was home, and I don't do I don't do housework when he's at home unless he is outside doing stuff. Because I then know that I can get in and I can do it without him getting in my way. So he was at home and he was in bed. If he'd actually gone to work, I would have gone in and done my cleaning and then gone to bed. However, yesterday, because he was at home and he was in bed and I was so tired, I went, I'm going to bed. So I went to bed and had a few hours sleep. And then I sat up and got out of bed and just still didn't function. Ooh, pardon me. It didn't function. So I just didn't do that housework and then Viv's come around this afternoon and my house was a nightmare so um, I don't know where I was going on with this story <laughs> but uh, I'm off to do housework clean my house and then I'm going to do um, more diamond painting and hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, vlog for the fortnight I don't even know how long I have been nattering on for but does it really matter no. Um, might be lucky. I'm getting this close to, well, I know I need to replace the computer because I need to get that fan 
I can get the fan fixed so I can get a new computer. If I get a new computer, I can then get all my other stuff working properly. Um, so, sorry, there's some stuff going on in the chat there. Uh, so yeah, I'll, um, hopefully I might have a new one, then you won't hear this bloody fan going off. Um, what else? I haven't gone through some of my, there we go, serves me right. One thing I didn't have, okay, bear with me, that's that one. I haven't gone through my comments that I've received recently or since my last blog. Well, since my last recording for this bit of wax. Um, that's all it oh and the lioness and cup. So some of the comments I've received since my last vlog. Um, so yeah, the I, I'm loving it. I've got <laughs> I chuckle there's comments about um it's both I had Robin and Delia have both commented that I'm a superwoman. Um, I don't think so. Um, I am. I find the. It's funny, but I find that custom blank custom. Um, very engrossing, and because I follow, my mind is pattern orientated. I can see patterns and remember where patterns are very easily. I might not be able to remember words and struggle with some words and stuff like that but if I can see a pattern I'll pick it up and I can keep with that pattern which is why working what did I have 67 colors or something out there no 71 different colors I built up to seven 71 different colors out um, you know that's just just the pattern of working with it but it just works for me I don't know but yeah not quite superwoman um, I just really enjoy it and it is it does I do cut off from the outside went woo, 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 world I'm sorry <laughs> okay so then I have some more comments on so my DIY moon shop unboxing um, and yeah the beadboard there is, um, for the comments that I've got there, is quite interesting. The, everyone loves the bead, seem to love the bead board. Um, I do have one lady that's made, that she's unwilling to pay for shipping. Um, I'll put it this, and, and I fully understand because that was the way I was when I first saw DIY Moon. I went, I'm not paying that for shipping. No, I couldn't do it. And then I ordered from a company in the US. I paid half the cost of that and it took 23, 25 days to arrive. Um, and then I ordered something, the short link canvas from Alibaba, where it cost me $28 and I received it in five, six days. And then with DIY Moon, I paid and forty dollars, and this is in US for delivery for uh, the packages, and well, I paid more than that because the pa first package was a lot bigger. Um, but in that, it was um, how do I put it? Basically, they shipped on Friday and it arrived Monday. If you're going to pay for freight and get it quick do it it's worth it and their quality is pretty good um, whereas I wouldn't purchase from the US again because the DHL apparently in the US in US apparently is useless so I'm not going to pay good money for something that takes so long to deliver whereas I'll pay good money for delivery if it's going to arrive quick um, yeah so there's the difference is if you're going to pay for delivery you'll want it quick if it's go if you're not paying for delivery you're prepared to wait so um, yeah 
there's a case where I won't be paying for delivery if I have to wait for anything not longer than a week. Anyway, so that's that side of it. That's the beadboards. And yeah, I've already shown it that I love it. I've worked with it um, and I have actually shown me using it on the keychains already. So the moon boxes, um, uh, there's some nice comments and everybody seems to like them. Um, and that's where Anna Dion turns around and she goes, very nice, I had to laugh when I spilled the beads. I do it quite often. Um, so that's where I show, why I showed it. So Annie, that's, you can see it properly. And yeah, it opens and closes and um, very, very, very handy. Yeah, it's just like a little vacuum, well, not like a little vacuum cleaner. It is a little vacuum cleaner. Okay, so that's that one. And then the keychain that I, you can actually see me using the beadboard with is, um, Anna has commented again, saying very pretty doesn't look I'm going to have enough beads for both sides and Anna you were right I didn't I was short but I made do when I was able to change it around I do believe if I'd actually contacted DIY Moon they would have gone bang I'd see them in a couple of days um, they're quick as soon as you, you know but in reality I was still able to complete it I just have it a bit more of an original with the alterations that I've done you know, it's like their moon boxes um, I've made alterations to, so yeah. Um, so that's where I'm at there. Um, the Tappy Keychain time lapse has, I can now say it has now uploaded. Um, but because we have, um, Jennifer's actually doing her live. I'm going to say I won't make it public until after her live is finished. So, um, yeah, mine is only like a four minute clip, so it's not going to take long. Um, but yeah, so what I'll say is thank you for watching. Um, Kathy, Cindy B, and Nan. It's Nan, not Nancy. Nan, I um, hope you enjoy your customs. I will be shipping them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, when I get to the post office, I'll get them shipped. Um, and what can I say when I unbox them? I was going to, I've done the unboxing on, I was going to put it, do the unboxings, of, um, and well, I recorded them, I was going to upload them. But I'm not going to. What I have done is before I un uh, unbox them, I actually had it, I recorded pre unboxing. What I am going to do is add to that just the canvas and the beads, um, so you you will see them. Um, I will leave. I will let you guys enjoy the process of unboxing yourself. Yes, I've unboxed and everything is there and I've added a little something in there for you guys from me personally. Um, but I think I'll let you guys enjoy your own unboxing um, of your own stuff. But, you know, I have unboxed it, I have checked it, it's all good and I'm wrapped with it. Um, but yeah, so um, you will see them in the vlog. Um, not in the vlog, you will see them in, in the video of the receiving and um, yeah. Anyway, I will leave that there. Thank you guys for watching um, yet again. As you know, I don't, well, I have had one period of time where I did schedule uploads, but you full well know that basically I do something as soon as I've managed to edit it and put it together, it's uploaded so you can see it which is why you'll see some uploading, you'll see them, you'll probably see them first thing in the morning and late at night because that's when I tend to do my uploads. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please hit the thumbs up, um, give us a like, um, please subscribe, leave a comment, um, check out Viv's um, Crafty Diamonds Australia page.
Excuse me. Um, and hit the bell so that then you know when I'm doing and putting these uploads. Um, and I'm contemplating a live Monday or Tuesday. Dearly, if you're still watching this, yes. Uh, maybe Monday, Tuesday. Might even Sunday. I'll see how I go. That's tomorrow. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching and bye for now.